Hey, it's Josh. Just wanted to give you a short update on my XR and the way I have my game controller program to run fire control. So this is going to be a little difficult to do with one hand, but basically there's my laptop. Got my second screen plugged in up here and fire controls on that screen. This thing, I have my um, mouse on my left joystick and you'll see I'll drive that around wherever it's a lot easier to do with and I have two hands and then I have my mouse left click programmed to my left hand trigger you'll see that's toggling dry run there and then the button right above the left trigger I have programmed for tab so that switches between continuous and 16th step so my machine movement I have programmed to do on the d-pad so you'll hear my machine running in the background there but that the d-pad four directions and then my z-axis I have my on my second joystick that's my z-axis up down and then the other thing I have programmed is one button homing so there is a homing shortcut but I found it inconvenient to use that shortcut because you still have to click OK on the screen. So I have the start button here on the controller program to do a one click homing sequence. So I click the button and the machine instantly starts to home driving over to the upper left hand corner and it only took one button press to do that and then it goes to home. And there it is, we're at home. The other thing I did was, so you'll notice my speed is currently at 400 inches a minute, but often I find I want something less than that. So this right hand trigger, I have programmed that toggle through the 10 inches a minute, 50, 100, 200. And then it doesn't matter where I am in that range, I can always hit the top button here and it instantly goes back to 400 inches a minute rapids. So I can be at 50 inches a minute, Maybe to make that 100. I'm driving my machine very slowly. You'll see it's moving slow. And then I can hit the top button and instantly go to 400 inches a minute. And if I want to go back to being slow, toggle the top a couple times and then moving slow again. So easy way to control different speeds when you're not right at your computer. The other thing I did was have the ability to uh, zero all work axes, bring that machine a little bit closer to me. And then the X button here, hit it one time. You'll see that I have zeroed all work axes with my X button there. I have this one programmed to do stop, this one is pause, and this one is program start. So if I do a program start, from right this point, it should start the program. It's doing a dry run, and I can hit the yellow one for pause, green one for run, yellow one for pause, green one for run, and then I can hit stop, and that will bring up an inconvenient box that will not go away. So I program Joy to Key if I press straight down on my left joystick. It will close that dialog box so if i'm on the other side of my table i don't have to walk over to my computer the other thing i did was program a button that would take me back to my work axis zero i have that one programmed to the back button if i hit back the machine instantly goes to the last zeroed point so it doesn't matter where you've driven around and carried on you can hit the back button and it will go to the last zero point. So if you don't want to go fast, you can toggle toggle your speeds a couple times. Now you're down at 50 inches a minute. You want to go fast real quick, you can hit that button. And now you're at, at rapids again. Z axis up down is right here. Zero all axes is on your 
blue button and um, if you want to drive your mouse around you can it's a little bit jumpy but say you want to toggle dry run you can still go there and then left trigger is mouse click so very happy just a cheap controller just a small joy to key utility and very happy with the ability to control the machine from across the room.